Leak footage. Body cam shows cops finding Shad Thyrian's head in a bucket. The trial for the woman accused of beheading her lover and cutting up his body is scheduled to begin Monday. Taylor Shabizness, now 25, was arrested in February 2022 for allegedly murdering Shad Thyrian inside his mother's Green Bay home. Shabizness cut off Thyrian's head, sexually assaulted him, then dismembered the rest of his body, investigators said. The victim's mother found his head in a bucket. On Friday, a judge ruled Shabizness competent to stand trial and a jury of 16 people, including four alternates, was selected. Shabizness is on trial for first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and third-degree sexual assault. On February 23, 2022, the Green Bay Police Department received a call at 3.25 a.m. about a human head being found in a basement. When an officer arrived to the caller's home, the caller, later identified as Shad Thyrian's mother, escorted the officer down to the basement. There, the officer spotted a towel over a bucket by the basement stairs. The head had been severed from the neck and there was visual evidence of strangulation. Inside the bucket, besides the head, was a male organ, along with body fluid and two knives. Other body parts were found in the basement in plastic shopping bags. Knives, including a carving knife and bread knife, were located at the crime scene. The victim's upper torso was found in a storage tote, along with several internal organs. The torso had numerous right cuts to the side. Detectives noted significant blood stains on an unsheeted mattress with what appeared to be a site of previously cleaned up blood on a concrete surface. The victim's mother, who owns the house where the human head was found, told detectives she last saw her son alive on February 21. She said her son, Thyrian, left the home with Taylor Shabizness at 9.30 p.m. The mother's boyfriend said he remembered the defendant and Thyrian coming home and immediately going down into the basement later that night. Thyrian's mother said the two stayed in the basement all day the following day. Before the mother went to bed on February 22, she noted Shabizness minivan parked out front. Sometime between 2.30 a.m. and 3.30 a.m. on February 23, the mother said she woke up because she said she heard their basement storm door being slammed. She got up and heard Shabizness van drive away. Thyrian's mother noted the basement light was still on, so she went downstairs to see if her son was home or if he had left with Shabizness. When she was in the basement, she didn't see anyone, but spotted the bucket. Shabizness told detectives she could feel the victim's heart beating as she was choking him, so, she kept pulling and choking him harder, but the victim would not die. After what she explained was three to five minutes, Thyrian eventually died and she played with Thyrian's body for two to three hours. Shabizness stated she sucked the victim's penis, that she had a dildo that she put in the victim's mouth, and then in the victim's a asterisk asterisk, according to officers. In a lower tone of voice, Shabizness allegedly said, yeah, I liked it, and asked detectives if they knew what it was like to love something so much that you kill it. Shabizness was heard mumbling, damn the head, and I can't believe I left the head though, while she was in the interview room. She told police they were going to have fun trying to find all of the organs. She admitted to using knives from the victim's mother's kitchen and that a bread knife worked the best because of the serrated blade.